Okay, today's video is uh, another one about RAW 1000, and it's going to be about DX and uh, how they're returning for the one millionth time, or I think I read one tweet, how fitting for DX's 1000th reunion to be on RAW 1000. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. We've seen DX come back so many times, not saying that it's a bad thing, because those two together have such good chemistry, and they just feed off each other line by line. So you know it's always going to be an entertaining segment, whatever they do. I'm sure uh, Triple H isn't going to be himself because he's going to be thinking about Brock Lesnar and his uh, decision. So I think what will happen is DX will come out, do their whole gimmick with the cowboy hat. I'm sure they'll have a new shirt out. And, um, you know, they'll do their whole, you know, let's get rid of that, you know. And then, and then they'll start throwing some jokes and Sean will kind of be doing it on his own. Triple H will kind of be there, but not really be there. Sean will call him out on it, and then he'll be like, you know what, Sean, I'm kind of wondering, you know, Brock's here tonight, and, you know, I want to kick his ass right now if we're doing what he did to my arm. And you can possibly see Triple H calling out Brock Lesnar. So just to kick things off, the 1,000th episode, have Brock Lesnar come out. Uh, him and Triple H kind of go face-to-face, -face, and um, I guess Brock Lesnar will accept his challenge. Paul Heyman will be there as well. And I can see Heyman giving a distraction to Sean, and then they take out Shawn Michaels, they take out Triple H. Brock Lesnar stands there, tall as tall can be, with all everyone just booing him because he interrupted everybody's favorite D-Generation X, and that's your main match for SummerSlam. That's how I see it playing out, and I can very well see it happening like that on Monday. Um... It wouldn't, I don't, I don't know, I can't see Triple H coming out for two segments, and I really can't see Brock Lesnar having his own segment and not have Triple H come out after. So it would just make sense to me for um, Triple H and Michaels to be out there, and Triple H can't really focus on DX because Brock Lesnar's in the building and he wants his answer now. So that's how I see DX going. I don't, you know, I'm not here to bash DX or anything, because, you know, I'm, I'm a DX fan myself. Hey, I got framed you know little classic superstars and only an idiot would pay the amount of I did to get that thing signed now that I think about it it was kind of stupid but besides that um DX has always been it was part of me growing up as a wrestling fan you know um always loved DX from you know their biggest limelight in, in 98 99 to the return in 07 which is uh, on there on my top raw moments of all time which is another video I want to do I'll probably do that tomorrow or something um but it seems like the more and more they come back the less and less special it gets um and i compare that directly to stone cold steve austin he is my favorite wrestler of all time but there was a point where he was making an appearance two three four times a year and i know i bash the rock all the time for being gone but rock leaving for a long time and then coming back just makes it that much more special and um, I remember when, you know, Austin's come back so many times when, it, uh, you know, Santino, he came back. He came back um, at SummerSlam with, with Matt Hardy and MVP. He did the whole Tough Enough thing. He did the whole Vince's Child thing. Just really pointless stuff where he came back from when you could have saved that for, uh, for like a WrestleMania uh, gimmick thing, having Austin there. I, mean, I think it was two years in a row or something. He's involved in WrestleMania. And last year, I think, I don't know, 25... He was inducted in the Hall of Fame. 26, I don't remember. 27, I remember he was the referee. In 23, he was a referee. 21, he was in Piper's Pit. Uh, 22, I don't remember. 20, he was another referee. So, you know, you, got, you know, Austin has his role as just, like, the guy who will make WrestleMania WrestleMania. As much as I would have loved to see him at 28, hey, can't blame him. The Rock was there. The Rock knows what he's doing. Hey, a buffer DX. Uh, Sean's another guy who, who's gone, he comes back, and it's special. You know, I think since his departure with the company, he's only been back, like, um, I remember he came back, the CM Punk, you know, he was there in Vegas, I think. I, um, it was CM Punk in the Nexus, I remember that. He super kicked Del Rio that night. And uh, the whole build-up to Triple H and Undertaker, 27 and 28. So, like, you know, Shawn Michaels has always had a special place on Raw, and when he comes back, you know it's going to be meaningful. It's not just going to be there, super kick one guy, and then just leave. Although he did that once. And, yeah, that's that's about it. That's what I already explained, where I see DX going. Sure, have him come back, have 
people tune in right at 8 o'clock because they don't want people to forget that Raw is starting at 8 o'clock from now on. So you got to start off with a bang, and DX is that bang. So until tomorrow, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.